uh, nature because they were gathered by the resonance of the language and amongst all the rest of the people that have ever used it so what's the good of your philosophy in that if you can't identify where all the rest of it came from and eventually you find out that you don't know where any of it came from because nothing in the phenomenal world really makes the sounds with the intent that you want it to. Right? You know, frogs don't ribbit for the purpose of riveting and uh, getting a cheeseburger, as far as you know. Right? You can't use it that way. Why? Try it. Um, and nothing in nature generates the written forms that we use and then manipulates them to generate the meaning we assume should be there right these are secondary to the consciousness and so your consciousness is busy processing this language and generating a story out of it and writing books about it so the next generation can do it too so what it's essentially done is our desire to put our consciousness into the language has turned the language into an artificial intelligence that then wants to sustain itself because it's upset that the body has to die and then the story has to end so it wants to generate robots and artificial intelligence the well the the consciousnesses that are stuck in the linguistic loops want to do this and if you look at language open up a dictionary and any 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 word you look at and then you look up all the all the definitions in that word and then you repeat, you will eventually return to the word you started with, right? So you start with apple, and then you look up all the words in the, in the definition of the word for apple. And then you look up all the words in, in the definition of those words, and you continue down, and you continue down. And some of them will be fairly quick, and some of them may take a long time, but you'll eventually come back to the word you started with. So it's a loop. All you have to do is get people into it. And since each one of those patterns of symbols connects to all kinds of auditory and visual correlations, it then creates essentially a, a hallucinated state of awareness. And so then the people that are outside the language that wrote the dictionaries and that wrote the educational systems can then drop in whatever cues they want into your system. And when it's something like banking that is so central to all of world affairs, and they've been doing it for so long, thousands of years, that they understand how to manipulate all these cultures. Um, then behind all these governments is this group that has taken over the linguistic ideas and shaken up the culture like, the, like they did with China or Cambodia or even America in, with World War I and World War II. Um, and during that period of upheaval, just like with Bitcoin, they, they start changing our ideas by changing what we consider to be possible um, and so we feel free in that because the language gives us the options to do whatever we want so now people want to get cyber implants to make the language last forever when it was the body that was the, was where the experience is coming from and then people are complaining that things fake and dead well because you're using the language to generate your reality you're not using your perception of reality to generate your reality Right? You're using the echoes of somebody else's story from time periods you can't validate about things you've never seen for reasons you don't understand why you were taught and then generate a reality that doesn't match with what you're perceiving, what your eyes see and your ears hear. And then you're stuck in a world full of smog and loud, noisy things that all just want to run you over and grind you up because they're just mindless machines with mindless things in them that are running around playing musical chairs in their fucking imagination with the language that comes through. Not my fault. And then you want humanity to survive and, and then like live with nature and not destroy the planet. Well, you're going to have to get out of the language. And one of the key ways to do it is to show that because the language has no intrinsic meaning and the banks are running the education systems and then asking you to, and then demanding that you pay interest on the loans they provide to not only the governments but then dictate your tax rates. But also on you, personally, when you take out loans from the bank, that they just type the numbers into the accounts. They don't create anything. They don't have any of it. They just make up magical, invisible numbers in a bank account and then magical, invisible numbers in another account that's called the interest account and charge you for it. And then you're passing credit around, always wondering how it is you're going to pay your bills when nobody ever created the money to pay the interest in the first place. And now there's no real money either. So you're stuck in this infinite bubble of nothing. 
until you do what they want. Because you won't let go of the language. And the events that gave rise to your cultures that are so magnificent and beautiful that are being destroyed by this onslaught of language per perpetuating itself are gone. They have no meaning to us. The tree of life, the Bible, Jesus, I mean, hell, you can trace all that stuff back to the solar flares, but it has no meaning for us unless they hit again, and who knows what's going to happen to us at that point. So we need to kind of wake up and deal with what's going on right now. Our planet's dying. Because we're busy playing tag your it with fucking language. And now it's gotten to the point where that tag your it is now atom bombs and hydrogen bombs and carpet bombing and fucking espionage and hacking all language attacking language the people aren't really involved who cares what color they are what kind of clothes they wear it's the language inside you're trying to kill not the person you know it doesn't matter what the person's doing you can teach a person anything you want you can take a baby and put it anywhere you want and they're gonna pick up on what they were taught you know there's a certain amount of resonance that comes out of that person based on their uh, memory that comes to the genes you know but you're not guaranteed to hold on to that when, when the education starts setting in especially when it's uh, like China or America where it's just abusive it makes you stupid anyway that's probably enough um, you know so if you can't get rid of the language you're not going to get rid of the interest that then controls your life so open source 3D printing, maybe I'll talk about that later. Bioplastic 3D printing. Self-replicating bioplastic 3D printers that create their own solar panels, create vertical farming, and can create textiles. You can open source the entire project from the genomes of the seeds all the way through to every process involved in it. And there you go. Feed and clothe humanity while you deal with what I'm talking about about language and interest and money and religions and solar flares and figure out how to take these banks apart before they turn us all into whatever it is that they are doing poisoning the water and injecting us whatever the fuck they want and lying to us on TV who gives a shit change the pattern, change reality if you, if you don't want their pattern to be your reality and you don't understand what else to do why not look at what I'm trying to say I'm trying to feed all the all the people on the planet, regardless of what they believe and regardless of where they come from and what they do with their lives. And then each culture, once they have that in place and money's not required, then fuck them. They can do whatever they want. And then you can travel around the world and go see it. Because nobody's going to be fighting and competing with it. I don't know. That's, that's, that's my idea. Ego Proctor, out.